Hello everybody, you are on Andrei Mihalovich channel and today I'm going to show you how to create a Windows 11 USB installer for unsupported PC. Everything is very simple, you just need to repeat after me. To get started, we need to have a flash drive on which we will install our operating system. The flash drive must have at least 8 GB of memory, it will be more than enough. I will use a 32 GB USB drive, I mean, it's not because it have 32 GB, it's because it have USB 3.0 and it's much faster than USB 2.0. So let's get it started. For the beginning open the browser, in my case it's Google Chrome. Then right next, download Windows 11 and press enter. Click on the first link. So, right now we are on Microsoft's official website. All link will be in the description. And you will see Download Windows 11 Disk Image ISO. Click on it and choose Windows 11 Multi Edition ISO. Download. Here you need to choose the language that suits you best. I will choose English, but you may select another language. Click here and now you can download the Windows 11 ISO file. Repeat after me. You need to wait until the file downloads and then you can proceed to the next step of installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. ISO file has about 5 GB of memory. The download will take a few minutes, it will depend on your internet connection. Now we need to download a program that will help install Windows on a flash drive. Before that you can insert a flash drive stick into your laptop or computer. Then write in the browser Rufus Downloads. Click on Downloads and you will go to the official website where you can download this program. All link will be in the description. But we need to download Rufus 3.18 portable version. This means that it's not going to be installed on PC. It will run as portable application. So it suits me the best. Thanks to this version, you can skip the Windows 11 system requirements, including TPM 2.0. Now, I will explain why you need to download this version of the program. If you go to the official site on the first link, you will be able to download the newer version, but then you will have problem when install Windows 11 ISO file. I will show you. Click on it and wait until it downloads. We launch the program and then we will be offered to update to the latest version. For example, we update. The program already see our flash drive and we can select our Windows 11 ISO file. But here's the problem, we don't have option to skip TPM 2.0 and other requirements for our laptop or PC. I showed you this so that you pay attention to the version of the program, because it is important. Now you can close the window and we will open the version that was previously downloaded first. The system see the flash drive and we again chose our ISO file and click open. Now I will ask you to watch closely. In the image option we should choose Extended Windows 11 installation, no TPM and no secure boot. It is this option that will help us to install Windows 11 without problem on any computer. Here we chose GPT. And here we will not be able to change anything, because UFI is default here. Now we can name the flash drive. Here you can write anything you like. For example, I wrote Windows 11 unsupported. Everything is almost ready 
And now we need to press the start button. As you can see, this message says that all information will be destroyed from the flash drive. I think it was obvious. But it is better to check whether there are no important files on the flash drive. Now, wait for the end of the installation of Windows 11 to our USB drive. It will take a few minutes. You can drink a cup of tea. After the process is complete, safely remove the flash drive from the USB port. My congratulations, you have installed Windows 11 on a flash drive and now you can install it on any unsupported hardware. So, let's start the installation process. As always, I will install Windows on an old laptop from 2013, the Latitude E6430. For the beginning, I will insert the flash drive into the USB port and go to the BIOS to put the USB drive in the first place, so that the laptop loads all information from it. To enter the BIOS, mostly use the F1, F2 and delete keys, or press these keys together with the FN key. You can look on the internet how to enter the BIOS in your model. In my case, it will be FN plus F2. Click on boot sequence and then you need to select UFI. After that, put the USB drive in the first place, save all the changes and click exit. A laptop will restart and boot the flash drive, so we get to the usual installation window. Then just click Next. Install now. Loading process. Here you need to enter your Windows key. But if you don't have it or you have an electronic license, then just click I don't have a product key. Next you can choose exactly which Windows 11 you want to install. For example, I chose Windows 11 Pro because I am a pro. Then you need to agree to all the terms of the Windows license and click Next. Here select Custom Install Windows Only. And now we need to delete all partitions of the old OS. Previously, the Fight OS operating system was installed on this hard drive. By the way, there is a tutorial on my channel on how to install it. After deleting all information, we need to partition the hard drive so that there is a separate partition for the operating system. I allocate 90,000 megabytes, that is 90 gigabytes. I think this will be enough. The rest of memory can be used to save files. We chose partition 3. We specify 90 gigabytes before, but you will always say 2 gigabytes less. Click next and the installation process will begin. Now you just need to wait. At the end of the installation, PC will restart and then you need to again to enter the BIOS to check that the USB hard drive is in the first place. Actually, in BIOS you will see it as Windows Boot Manager. Save all the changes and exit. The laptop will restart so the system will boot and install many components, including some updates. The computer will load and restart several times, don't worry about that, cause this is normal. Then you will see the Windows 11 logo and you will need to choose the country and keyboard layout. Choose that suits you best. Connect to a Wi-Fi network and the system will automatically start installing some drivers. The PC will be able to restart several times, after which you will be asked to name the model of your device. Then you will see the scary window. Microsoft account. But do not be afraid. If you click on Sign in option, you will be able to choose an offline account. Next. Enter the name of the user. 
it depend all on you. And click next. Enter a password if you need it. I don't need it, so I just click next. Unchecked all the proposed settings. This is purely my advice to you. Click accept and now we are at the final stage. Just wait for everything to load and enjoy Windows 11. In general, I will show that everything works for me. Intel Core i5 3340M processor, 4GB of RAM. Well, to be honest, I install Windows on a slow HDD and I do not recommend doing the same thing, because it is better to install it on an SSD and everything will work much faster. I got all the important updates as you can see, including security updates. Therefore, everything works without problems. There were no freezes or blue screens. Microsoft Store also work fine, so you can try this method. For sure, I think it will suit everyone. As you can see, everything is very simple. If this video was useful for you, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Also, write in the comment if this method helped you. I will be glad to answer on all of your questions. Goodbye everyone, see you soon.